hope you guys are doing well and today i'm going to show you that um, how you can add a text color or text alignment and text indent and letter spacing word spacing text decorations text transform and uh, text directions unicode bidi and then text css shadow and uh, spaces wraps so in our previous video we have learned about the how to use uh, fonts now i'm gonna add some colors in the heading i'm gonna remove this and then color should be olive yeah there we got the result of our color you can also use text alignment like uh, if you want to use font uh, maybe text alignment center then this is automatically align center of the page if I'm gonna resize my browser it will stay center in the browser so this is element uh, and you can also use the properties of uh, left line right line like this and start inherit left match right start these all the properties works uh, if you uh, learn a property and want to uh, you don't know you don't need to remember the uh, all the values of a single property you may also uh, just uh, uh, need to uh, keep that in mind what property you are using the value sh you can also inspect here and uh, get the, all the values like I have the complete color palette here and uh, um, if you are new uh, in a beginner in the development method so yeah it is very handy to use and uh, uh, that's very time saving you can uh, add uh, using your uh, inspect uh, inspector and you can copy this and uh, uh, paste here and then you can save this uh, you have the property in what you want to add so in our next session we are gonna add some text indentation like 50 pixels and uh, you can also resize it or maybe if you want to mm, place uh, mm, your text in a specific uh, uh, height width or maybe specific uh, mm, uh, section or specific uh, uh, maybe for example you have a small div here and you want to indent your text and then place another text from the starting uh, the uh, text indent tool is very easy and now I'm gonna add some letter spacing here letter spacing should be 5 pixels If you can see the browser, it will automatically space your every words with letter spacing. 
for example some of your PSD designers may uh, change the letter spacing uh, to uh, present in a better way uh, like a typography uh, like a better type of typography you may also add the letter spacing in your headings or maybe paragraph this property will work uh, uh, in not only the heading one it will work with any tag or any uh, kind of uh, elements like uh, node list uh, lists uh, uh, paragraphs or uh, you can also add the block codes whatever you like whatever you want to uh, when, when and whatever you want to add and uh, which tag do you like to add and uh, space um, letter in any kind of tag so uh, h1 tag is uh, just I'm gonna show you the is it's just for example this uh, that is not necessary uh, you can also use h1 tag h1 tag is level 1 tag so that's why um, it is very prominent in the browser um, that's why we are using the heading one tag you may also add uh, uh, any kind of element or maybe deep tag or maybe span or uh, whatever you like in your uh, current scenario so um, now I'm gonna add some word spacing here for example word spacing should be 50 pixel yeah that um, here we got the word spaces in our browser so for example if you want to add a text decorations in your uh, any let me remove this and show you the example how it will work so first of all I'm gonna write here text decoration and overline uh, it, uh, this uh, may add the line in the top uh, so it will highlight it to your users in your website so uh, and also you can add line throw Uh, for example you have the uh, you have any deal in your um, website and do you want to uh, cut the price like uh, um, previously we have the 30 percent off and now we are uh, um, telling the um, user to uh, we have the 50 percent uh, discount uh, you can uh, also cut the uh, thirty percent and show uh, in here next to um, forty percent discount so um, you can also use this uh, line throw and uh, now I'm gonna add underline for example you have the link and you want to hmm, uh, add like a, a mouse cursor case uh, you can you need to add a, a bottom line here um, some of the tag have the um, by default uh, underline um, for example hyperlinks are uh, by default have the underline tag you can also uh, add the text decoration on here and some of the cases you want to highlight any um, any kind of text in hover effects uh, like pseudo classes I will show you in our next lectures uh, how to add the uh, pseudo classes uh, so 
you can uh, experiment on this and uh, if you have any question you can also comment me uh, in the uh, after the video uh, description you will find the comment tag and um, send me a comment or send me any question I will um, reply you uh, so uh, now I'm gonna add the uh, direction of the RTL for example um, uh, now we are uh, using uh, English here you want to translate your uh, web page into uh, any Arabic uh, or uh, Urdu or maybe um, Hindi uh, so you can also add the directions RTL it will come up with this starting from here and um, and line end here so you can also use the uh, our direction RTL tag uh, to uh, swipe the content um, in a different language so for example uh, you are seeing the mirror and uh, um, you are taking a picture with the website so you can also uh, swipe the like unicode a dibi adbi overwrite so you can also swipe the text with the you can also flip the text um, in a mirror way so you can also uh, add this one and uh, now i'm gonna add some shadows here some text shadows text shadow should be 2 pixel or maybe 2 pixel and 8 pixel and orange so <coughs> here we have our text shadow you can also set the values from oh, here one two three maybe or it should be two like uh, you can also manage the thickness or radius or uh, uh, duration of your box shadow uh, so you can also add the text shadow so that's all for now and uh, hope you guys uh, learned something um so uh don't forget to subscribe or um, click the bell icon to get the uh, notification from my uh, youtube channel so hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and see you guys in our next video